how did you get into country music? How did I get into country music? I got into country music growing up in Bangs, Texas. Bangs is like your grandmama's hair. <laughs> Bangs. And we would have bands come in and play Friday and Saturday nights. And they would alternate. So you'd have bands on Friday that were country, and then Saturday night it'd be Tejano bands. I don't even know if you know what Tejano is, but never mind. Anyway, so that's how I got into it, was seeing these guys get up and play on Fridays and Saturdays. I mean, our whole town would go, because I grew up in a town of 1,100 people. So there's nothing to do. I mean, if it wasn't Friday night football, it's country music. And then church on Sunday. So that's how I got into it. And all the pretty girls were at the country shows. So true. What? <laughs> I mean, I was supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what has been uh, one of the biggest accomplishments so far in your career? Oh, man, one of the biggest accomplishments of my career. Um, wow. Headline in the South Texas State Fair. Um, I, I've done Nashville Star. I won third runner up on Nashville Star, which was great. It was an amazing opportunity. Um, but one of the greatest accomplishments of my career is actually headlining my own show to where it wasn't promoters or commercial it was nothing commercial about it it was fans that knew my songs and i could go in and play so to look out and there's 120,000 people at this festival and the crowd is just as far as you can see um, that's probably one of the biggest things now when you imagine your career what is what what is like what is it like when you feel like you've like made it in a sense um Regarding my career, when will I feel like I've made it? I feel like I've made it uh, already because I get to play music for a living. Like, so many people w have to work a day job and they can't get away from their day job to sing or do what they love. I've never had that issue. I've been playing music since I left college. So, it's very rare. It doesn't happen to many people, but I'm one of those people. So, I think that that's, that's what I call success. Now, uh, getting to travel and go around on the road so much, what are some of the things that you do to sort of keep yourself sane and when you're stuck in a car? Uh, keeping myself sane from traveling and touring, what do I do? Uh, I like to fish. I can hunt. Like, I can shoot, for real. Like, I can, I can shoot the tick off a dog, for real. Uh, I like hooping. I mean, people don't think, you will get done. You will get done hooping with me. I will do you, okay? Period. Don't test my jumper. Um, I like hooping. I like different restaurants. Like, if I go to your town, I want to go to the restaurant that's famous because I want to taste that. So, food, hooping, and shooting. Ha! Yes! Okay. <laughs> uh, when someone tells you that they're, they're a fan of yours and that a song that you sing has a huge place in their life, what goes through your mind? Uh, Mission Accomplished. Mission Accomplished. I wrote a song called Better Today, and it has been used in weddings all across the world. And... Uh, to be a part of the very first moment that someone is husband and wife. Think about that. Like, they're going to use their first moment as husband and wife dancing to something that I wrote. That's the biggest honor. That is really cool. Uh, last question. Is, okay. What does country music mean to you? What does country music mean to me? Country music is the last heartbeat of America. Because you go to this genre, it's glitz, it's glam, it's fake, it's, it's gaudy. There's nothing about family. Like, it's the last stronghold of the heartbeat of America. That's what country music is to me. It's truth. 